Hello chess lovers, I have an interesting game for you played by Gary Kasparov against Fritz II. The game was played in 1992 in Köln. Fritz II started with d4 and d6 by Kasparov, e4, g6, c4, bishop g7, knight c3, knight d7, Kasparov goes for Auerbach's system of the modern defense, f4, and there it goes, e5 challenging white center. The main move is capturing on e5 and then playing d5. But instead after e5 we see bishop e3 which allows black to equalize the game easily. Knight f6, queen d3 and we see castlings on opposite sides. a6, black is preparing b5, g3. Instead of starting a pawn storm on the king's side, white is playing g3 fianchettoing the bishop, but Kasparov is of course hurrying, he wants to rip open white king, b5, c takes b5, a takes b5, queen takes b5 by sacrificing a pawn, black is managing to open up these files, rook b8, queen d3, bishop b7, now black is starting to put pressure on e4 square, bishop g2, rook e8, knight h3 and c5. Kicking away this bishop from a1 h8 diagonal and freeing it for black bishop, bishop f2, queen a5. And Fred saw that there is a hanging pawn on d6 and it immediately grabbed it, not thinking about the safety of white king. Here comes a beautiful tactical shot by Kasparov, knight takes e4. Sacrificing the knight on d7, White accepted the sacrifice, well if a move like bishop takes e4 then after bishop takes e4 there is too much pressure on c3 square, for example if queen takes d7 simply bishop takes c3, this is going to be crushing. Or after knight takes e4, if a move like knight takes e4 then bishop takes b2 check is winning. And if king takes b2 then bishop takes e4 discover check and then white king is getting checkmated. Or after bishop takes b2 check, if king b1, anyways bishop takes e4 check, if bishop takes e4 then bishop d4 discover check and again white king is getting checkmated. Here comes rook b1 beautiful sacrifice and queen b2 checkmate. Let's go back, after knight takes e4 we see queen takes d7 and now comes knight takes c3, white's position is just hopeless. I don't know what Fritz II had in mind when going for these lines but definitely Fritz II is playing like an amateur, grabbing everything on its way, not thinking about this poor king, here comes knight takes a2 check, king b1, rook e2, putting more and more pressure on b2 square. And only now Fritz too understood that he is in trouble and went for this vinegar stroke check, queen d8 check, Kasparov captured on d8, rook takes d8, queen takes d8, bishop d5, giving up the bishop as well, prolonging his life, here comes rook takes b2 check, king a1, queen takes d5, bishop d4, bishop takes d4, in the middle part of the game Fritz was capturing everything on its way, now it's time to give up all those stolen pieces. Rook d1, rook b1 double check and after king takes b1 we see queen b3 checkmate. A very impressive game I think played by Gary Kasparov. I hope that you enjoyed this beautiful game, waiting for your comments and questions. Good luck.